Welcome to my channel, this is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. So if you if we have to go to McFarlane's ranch for the next mission, we'll go there.
Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie. I think he sensed something of someone. I need to lie down a minute. Something is always wrong. Right? Oh yeah, that's it. Marston, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought. And we had smallpox. Terrible winters. Cholera. A very more of my children and I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here, sneaking around and spying and secret. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. 
For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the But I know the ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. There's 
no better night's sleep after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, though. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you could bear stop killing people for a living. Sure. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there, a ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful. But she's never far from my thoughts. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Yeah. I ride too fast, maybe. Mm. It will win the mission. I have to wait for them. Come on!
now. Almost got you. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Nearly got you. Come on, come on, come on! This don't feel too good! Come on, baby! Calm down! Calm down now! There! There you go! Come on! Where? Mr. Marston, we got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. दो दो मिशन आ गए यहाँ पे चलो यहाँ पे सेत का मिशन करते हैं पहले क्वेश्चन मार्क और कुछ तो नहीं है ना क्वेश्चन मार्क जैसा
Glad it worked out. Wow. If he was actually killing them. Sorry about this, partner. Okay, lady? My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. <laughs> Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. Got much money. And I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. City fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> You people just leave me alone. Uh. 
Let's go, shall we? Yeah! Please! I'll do anything! Does this work? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> no idea too, you can kick whoever you are carrying. If they talk too much. Don't take me back to that man! This is a nightmare! This maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> you should run off home. You owe me one. What? Is the body gone here? I didn't know that this is a cannibal. Let's leave him in the story. That is cruel man. Fucking cruel. Come on! Oh yeah, I <clears throat> saw this game today. Uh, Indiana Jones, a full circle or something like that. That game is hell. Let's go! यस सेट का मिशन करने के बाद हम लोग मैं कोशिश करूंगा अच्छा इधर तो जा चुका हूं ना टॉल ट्रीज और ना इधर से जाने का रास्ता है नहीं सिर्फ ट्रेन से जा सकते हैं तो कहीं भी ट्रेन पकड़ूंगा या तो मैं फलन रैन रैन से नहीं तो अरमाडिलो से और पकड़ के इधर ग्रेट प्लेन्स इस साइड जाने का कोशिश करूँगा प्लेन से ही जा सकता हूँ Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. 
My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Well, what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. He's mine! He's mine! All mine! <laughs> sure. But where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for assuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. And maybe you'll help me. Maybe we got a treasure map. Come on then, partner! Yeah! Fly! Fly! Faster! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living any way? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, We'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that hat looked at. Seth? I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I'm mad Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers want. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. So I noticed one thing that if you uh, hold the shift button, your horse will move. Yeah! The NPC's horse is speed. And the bar will turn green. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. 
you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's and no difference between manually. night and day. Come on. Bartons. This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Away from the shack and out of sight, somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Don't you lay a finger on them Come horses, mister. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Take oh, your yeah! like
watch out getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard. I need him alive, though. Get away from me! Let me go! I'm begging you! What's he paying you? I'll give you double! Whatever he told you, it's a lie! You get the smelly in! <laughs> Just name your price! Yeah! It between us, just me and you. Yeah. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Then I'm gonna cut you up piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. <laughs> uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the boats. Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Well, hello. I'm a reformed man, no doubt about it. You're in the clear now, but you be careful now. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. You've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, 
tough but with a heart of gold the cowboy sings his lonely song like, a, film like a dog whose bone is made of wood excuse me oh, nothing I, I was just writing my next piece I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't <clears throat> dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. Hello there! I bet ticket can get it. Last night a drunken rustler told me Hello there. he hit some gold in it. Hey, partner. Of caves. Who wants to terrorize my man? Freedom out Howdy, mister. Howdy. Are you still here for me? Hurry up and get in. Maybe a train station near here, yeah? Why, hello. Hello. नहीं तो ट्रेन इधर बेनेटिक पॉइंट पे नहीं रुकता है क्या ट्रेन फॉक मैन तो मुझे नाइजल वेस्ट का मिशन करना चाहिए अभी लगता है ट्रेन ट्रैवल अभी तक कर नहीं पाऊंगा
कल माथा दो गैंगों का फाइट करा दिया उन्होंने बीच में तो इसको यहीं पे खत्म करता हूँ ठीक है ये वैगन वापस करना है वैसे भी मेरे को जाना ही है यार मैं जितना बार आता हूँ सॉलवन सॉली मेरे को करना पड़ता है
You got our safe back! I never thought I'd see that again. I cannot thank you enough, sir. So yeah. This is kind of a... See you soon. Take care.